Good Wednesday, Northgate. This is the Midweek Encouragement coming to you from the Shilky living room where we're all decorated for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we want to talk about the armor of God, and that's probably why you're wondering why I'm wearing this helmet. Last week we talked about the shield of faith, and the week before the sword of the spirit. Today we're going to talk about the helmet of salvation, and we're thinking what can we do for the breastplate of righteousness. I didn't really have a breastplate. Uh, I'm not a Roman officer, but in today's, if it's hockey helmet, I have my under armor, my protection underneath. That's a breastplate. I put this on under my clothes to keep me warm mm -hmm. and to keep me protected against the elements. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of an object lesson, but the reality of this passage in Ephesians chapter six, he's using this armor, which would be a Roman officer's armor to explain the spiritual armor we have as we wrestle and fight with the devil because we are truly in a battle. So we put on, we gird ourselves with this helmet and this righteousness. It is the salvation of Jesus and it's the righteousness of Jesus. It's not our work, it's his work. Amen, yeah. And Dan is um, ready to hit the ice with his under armor and helmet, but... Uh, we need to every day put on that uh, helmet of salvation. Um, Amen. God's word says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our Amen. heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. And that is our assurance of salvation, the helmet of salvation. It's Jesus' work, as Dan said, done for us. And we can rest in that. And then also in regards to our righteousness or our right standing with God, Jesus is the one who makes us right Amen. with God. And we put on that breastplate of righteousness knowing that, um, as 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. And that is what Jesus has done for us. And that's an incredible thought. Because we're always striving to be righteous and we always maybe get a little sad or depressed when we don't do enough or we look back to when we failed. We can understand and believe that as we trust in Jesus Christ, we are righteous in him. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And maybe, I don't know everyone who's watching this video, maybe you're being reminded and encouraged to put this stuff on. But the reality is maybe you've never put this on. Maybe you have never decided to follow and believe in Jesus Christ. Maybe you've gone to church or think it's a good idea. But we want to encourage you as you believe, as Amy has said, and confess this, that you will be saved and you'll have eternity with Christ. And in this season, truly, that's the only way to have peace. And we would desire that you would have peace the peace that comes from God that is beyond understanding for the work that he's done on the cross for me and for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gift of salvation is the greatest gift that we will ever receive. The gift of salvation and eternal life through Jesus. Amen. So we want to encourage you, put on that armor, put on your breastplate and your helmet, the work of Christ in your life. And have a great week. We will see you online Sunday or in person. We're looking forward to it. We'll be looking at the book of Joshua chapter 5. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.